Tiffany Green with Puppy Panda Crochet Co. And today we have Nova joining us. And today is another market vlog. Nova, can you give them a, a whoop? No? <laughs> okay. Well, she's going. If you are looking to find me anywhere on the interwebs, you can find me here on YouTube as well as on Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook. I think that is all. Um, so, <laughs> yep, she has a little bit of energy. We're trying to get her to take a nap right now. So, <laughs> she'll be running around. So, I'm starting market prepping for this next coming week. Um, well, yesterday, I was able to get a some, uh, daisy turtle, sorry. Um, the full body that is completely done. I got the weight in it and all that. Just have to attach the head. This daisy turtle is all done. Have to put the weights in and stuff and close them and then attach the head. And then I have this third one that I need to add the white to the outside, but this white is pretty much not enough. So I gotta get the other ball of white and then gotta use up this ball of yarn to get all the pieces. I currently have the front two fins and one of the back fins and then I'm also working on the other back pin. So I just gotta do the tail and the head and then I gotta combine it all together. And then, yeah. So right now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna finish up this ball of yarn with what I can. And then I'm going to go down here and grab that red and the white and I'm going to make um, some mushrooms. That's what I got planned right now. But yeah. And I ran out of the yellow right here. Right on the last round of doing the shell. So I have to get like almost halfway more of the shell. But Michaels did not have any more of this yellow in stock. They were very depleted. So I'm probably just going to rip this out and use it as x log gills with what I can. Well, if it's not the cat stealing my seat, it's Nova stealing my seat. I'm not sure how she's going to crochet the rest of my inventory that I need. Hmm. Do you have a plan there, little princess? It's... Yeah. Oh well. So I got some mushrooms done. And these are the popping kind. So they pop up and down. It's hard to do with one hand. But yeah, that's what those are. I got three more caps over there. I just need to touch the white. And I was planning on doing some with the XL type yarn. And then my dad recommended using um, like acrylic or even parfait chunky and make them as key rings. So I'm making up a couple of those, seeing how well that they work. And so at this next market. But yeah, got to figure out how much love this one needs before I can get back to work. But yeah, she's a cutie pie. I love her still. I made a baby. So this is out of Burnett Baby Velvet. And I just left the eyes off. So, yeah. It's the perfect size. I was thinking about doing it out of Parfait Chunky, but I think that this size would be best. I just gotta add a key ring to it. I might do a key ring from the bottom. I don't know. Either from the bottom or the top. I was thinking from the top. But yeah, it's a great little fidget thing. Nice cute little mushroom. $300 later, my yarn is finally stocked back up a little bit. I may have gotten a little yarn happy. Just a little bit. Hey, so it's been a couple days. I'm not good at recording. I've told you this before and I will continue telling this. Sorry about the shaky. I have you in my hand and not on my phone stand thing. But I still have 
the two daisy turtles, they just need their heads attached. They are already weighted and stuffed inside. So I just have to attach those. And then I have one more weighted daisy turtle that I need to get done. Um, yeah, I still have the sheep and the cow that I need to pack up. And then I have the these three triceratops that actually need their horns on. But what I was able to get done last night was some possums. And I actually finished these up this morning. So this is a no-sew possum pattern. I'm not sure who the designer is. But I now have five of these little guys. And hopefully they will sell at my event. Um, I'm going to be making a couple more flower weighted flower turtles. Um, I need to use... Well, I have some green behind there that I use. I use my agave green with um, the mustard and terracotta and chenille home, the bigger stuff. Um, so I gotta get at least one more of those. And then I wanted to make some XL mushy pops. And they're just mushrooms that you can pop the top up and down. And then I needed to at least make one more of the keychain versions. So yeah, that's what I got going on today. Hopefully I can get at least five of the XL mushies done, one of the keychain mushies, and then the weighted flower turtles. And then I also need to get some more bee keychains done because I am sold out right now. But yeah, that's what we got going on right now. And hopefully I'll keep you guys updated. Well, I got all these guys done. So I accidentally put these eyes in one row shorter than I was supposed to. So this is the proper eye placement. Whereas this one's just a little bit closer together, but it's okay. So this was supposed to go in this row, not there. But yeah, it's all right. And then I got the Triceratops all have their horns. And then I got a Nova. Boop! She's a little sleepy. I'm making some at home s'mores. This is how it works. Well, Claire and I are on the floor at Target. We're looking for swimsuits. Oh well. We'll be here for a little bit. I was able to get three bees done and I got the keychains on, so I just gotta make at least two more and then I gotta get some other items done. Cause the show's tomorrow and I don't feel like I have enough. Though I always never feel like I have enough. But yeah, I definitely need more of these guys cause I only have the three. We're at the pool. Gonna be here for a little bit. So I'm working on some Triceratops skeletons because my um, stuff, my fiber fill is a little too far, so just getting the skeletons done. This pattern is from Club Crochet. I already have two other ones. So has anyone else noticed that the Forge Sage is actually a different color? than what it used to be. Yeah, I just realized it. So, I got two balls of this and then two balls of the other dye lot type thing. And then it also seems that the Burnett blanket is actually much thinner than it used to be too. So I've had to go down to, where's my hook? There it is to a 7 millimeter hook when I used to use an 8 millimeter hook on these guys. So yeah. But yeah, this is the new size of them. I mean, they're still pretty big and a good size for $12, so it's not too bad. But my plan is to at least get two more Triceratops bites done tonight. It's already 11 p.m. But I got the eyes for that already 
out. So I just need to finish up this one and then make another one. And then I will go to bed. But yeah, that's what I got going on tonight. Tomorrow is the event. So hopefully I can get some more video then. But we got Nova snoozing. She went on a hike with my cousins today, so she's a little sleepy. All right, I'm for Sonic. So I just got the Triceratops all completed. I was able to get four done. So they changed the color of the forest sage, but it's okay. Um, this one's just a little bit lighter than the old color. So this is the club crochet and I have all four and have them tagged. I just have to put it in the Excel sheet and then I got to put them in the bag to go. So pretty much going to have some lunch and then we are going to head out and get the inventory in the car. And then we'll go set up. So this morning we already got the skeleton set up. And then we came back home for the last couple hours. Um, so I got there at 10. Got my spot canopy up and then tables. And then came back to get the inventory and finish up these items. And then we'll head back out to put everything up and then we'll just wait until the event starts so um right now we're just waiting on lunch my mom's cooking some pork butt and barbecue sauce and it's almost done so i can have my barbecue sauce my pulled pork with barbecue sauce it is so good but yeah that's what's going on right now just waiting for lunch and then we will head out so at the event. So I'm all set up. It's a little bit different. We got that kind of like normal. And then we got my grid shelf, well, whatever it is. Some dragons. Over here we got a couple of things. The weighted items. The sea creatures. The cousin. I got the toothless in here and I did it as a um, pretty much wall of the wooden crates. And then I got my $10 key rack there, my $7 key rack there, and then on this side I have the dinos, crochet kits, Lovies, Eeyore, the astronaut, and then I have the big dinos. The goat's hiding in the corner, and then I got these possums that I made up this week. So let's hope that these little guys sell. So this market was on, what date was it? June 10th, that's what day it was. And it was from 5 to 9 p.m. So it was a night market. It got very dark. Um, over in Huntsville, Alabama at the Redstone Arsenal for their... Um, birthday celebration. This time, the booth fee for this event was $25. I did do this event last year, and the fee was $20. So it went up a little bit, and we pretty much have two pages worth of sales. So this is a very good market that I was able to do, and it was the best one of the year. Um, like, well, not even just the year, the best one ever that I have done. So I was able to sell out of a couple of items. So I have a tally, which my cousin kept track of. And then the stars on them is what sold out with what I brought. So what sold out was the opossums, or possums, however you would like to say them, my small bats, my 
XL axolotls, my critter flying pig, my Theo the bear, and regular axolotls, the small group, the small mermaid, my regular bees, my rainbow bees, as well as my lawn raccoon, my brutus, my raccoon pillow, and a hippo. So I do actually have some more of the hippos, another one of my brutus, as well as my small groups, and I believe that's it. Um, my best sellers were the possum and my regular mushy pops. And then my next best sell, oh, with those selling five of each, of course. And then my next best seller were my XL axolotls. And then after that, it was my regular bees, the regular axolotls, my owls, as well as my mom stitch eye moose and my rose and lily turtles with those selling three of each. Um, so, I mean, the items that I did make for this market specifically new this week did amazingly other than my XL Mushy Pops and my Keychain Mushy Pops. Those I did not sell a single one of. Um, and I do feel like that if I had more bees, then I would sell more as well as axolotls. But I did not focus on making axolotls this past week. I focused on making the possums as well as the Mushy Pops. Um, but yeah. So that's what I got going on right now. Um, I do have to make up a lot for my next market. This is currently what I have to make up. So 155 items is what I gotta do. And I am not gonna make that within the next couple days, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, so now crunching down to the numbers. Um, I was a little bit worried that people were not going to be happy with my prices since I had to increase them by a good bit, but thankfully that did not stop many people from getting some of the bigger items. The Mom Stitch A Mooses were some of the bigger ones, and then um, the Hippo was a pretty big one as well as the Groots and my regular size mermaids. But then everything else was a pretty small item. Or then the Brutus, he was a big one too. Um, but unfortunately, I did have one person come up and was pretty much complaining about my prices, saying, why is this so much for such a small item? Thankfully, I didn't lose it on her. I was a little angry because she was constantly fighting back with what I priced it at. Oh, we got thunder. So I'm going to try to get this done before the rain gets here and we get power knocked out. Ooh, it's still going. <laughs> um... So yeah, she was fighting back on my prices, so I pretty much had to say the material cost plus it took me three hours to make it, and I don't buy cheap materials, I buy the good stuff, and oof, I did just place a Premier Yarn order today. $900 worth of yarn, but thankfully I only got it for $776. Yeah, that would be 155 balls of yarn. So hopefully that will come within the next week so I can get it um, brought down. <laughs> um, it's a lot of the XL yarn as well as Parfait Chunky. And I also got some snow cone. So yeah, okay, back to this. So her complaining about the price was a little upsetting, but a lot of other people were just 
it is what it is and they loved the items so much that they purchased them. So let's get down to the numbers. I was able to sell 69 items and that came out to a total of $1,450.15. So as I said, this is my best market ever. But unfortunately, there are fees, which comes with every single market. I had a booth fee of $25 and square fees of $31.06, which brought my overall total to $1,394.09. So, yeah, I was very shocked, but I'm happy that I did it, plus I had my cousins with me. Um, the oldest one of that family was with me from start to finish and then the rest of them came probably about halfway to almost towards the end. Um, but I still had them with me and they were a huge help and I very much appreciate them. I gave the oldest a possum with a hat and I treated them to um, some Sonic and then one of them got a calligraphy pen. So I showed them my appreciation by giving them some stuff. And then we did some duck hunting, which was actually really, really fun. Um, I'll put in a couple photos of the dunk, duck hunt. And um, we walked all over Huntsville. Um, looking at the like historical places and they had these little bronze ducks and it was so adorable. We went down to the VBC as well as um, the visitor center, the train depot. There was a park that we went to and there was this really cool like old timey like little town type thing. It was like a little mini park, but it had a lot of old buildings. So it was really cool there. But yeah, so that was a lot of walking, but I had a fun time. And then we also went to Stars and Strikes for some bowling as well as, um, what else did we do? Uh, they went hiking, so I didn't go hiking that day because I wanted to stay home and crochet. And I'm trying to think. We did go to the pool a couple times. But yeah, it was a lot of fun. And hopefully my next set of cousins will be here soon. Well, they should be here in August, so I get a couple of weeks of silence in the house, thank God. So much noise. <laughs> but yeah, so now this week, um, I will be doing a lot of market prep, but I am not doing a vlog style for next this Saturday. Um, I'm just going to do a market recap, so just Saturday because I really do not want to, do not want to record every single day and what I make. But I have made a lot and I will have some new items. I currently have a new chicken pattern as well as a new display for my chickens. And then I also have a new turtle pattern which is just a mini version of my big turtles because people were mine something in between my keychain size and my um rose and lily turtles so i found a pattern and i love it um so you'll see that on saturday or you'll see the video from saturday probably on sunday or something depending on how fast that I can get that recap videoed and out. But yeah, so that's it for now. I will see you in the next video and I don't know what else to say.
But thanks for watching. Bye.